Hey, how you doing? Okay, so <clears throat> I'm a little stressed out because of what has happened. I ordered three units from LH Boutique, Luxurious Hair Boutique, and for those of you who do not know, and it was a complete fiasco. Um, their customer service is horrible. Uh, I paid for expedited shipping, which was supposed to be two to four days, and I got my units um, close to seven or eight days later, and that was after putting in a dispute with my credit card company. Um, on top of that, they did not send me the units that I ordered. Um, there was a unit that was missing, even though it was on the invoice as though they had sent it to me. And I had to then put in another dispute with my credit card company. Then they answered and said that they were going to refund my shipping, uh, the item that was missing, and the item that was sent erroneously. I'm disappointed to say it mildly with Luxurious Hair Boutique. However, I have an eye for wigs. And I'm really happy with the one that I picked out. Um, I bought this one. This is the model. It's model model. And the color is GF8642 because I love blondes. And um, this one's name is Frida. And that's her in the picture. So I still have the lace and the tag on it. It came in the standard cardboard packaging. This is the box. And it came in, came very well protected, you know, and with the little netting and all of that. This is the cap construction. It has one cone at the bottom, two on the sides, and yeah, I say a two knuckle part. So not very much parting space. And it's got the transparent lace. That's the lace right there. So I'm gonna cut, oh, and baby hairs. Got little teeny wispy baby hairs right in the front. And this is her. I'm gonna cut the lace and put her on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. This is Frida. Um, I just put her on. I have tried to adjust. What was that? Oh. That's a little piece of lace that I cut off. So she has, um, let's just go over a couple things. In the back, it is a dark honey blonde. And then towards the middle, it's more of a, a 27. And then the top has 613, uh, I'm sorry, six, yeah, 612 and uh, 27 mixed in. So it's, it's, um, it's very blonde. I like big hair and it is very big. This is sort of what I was looking for. I wanted to do, um, I wanted, I wanted like an afro, um, but I wanted it longer. So this is, um, this is, this is okay. And the hair is pretty soft. It feels, it almost feels like there's something on it. Like, um, like it's a little, um, greasy almost, but it's not. There's nothing on my fingers. So I do like it. It does have baby hair. I'm going to show you the hairline. That's it when you get up very close. And that's it all the way to the sides. There's no baby hair there, but it's right there. That's all. That's all the baby hairs. 
and on that side. That's me. And then that's the wig. So you can see right there where my little flaps are. And I'm going to adjust those once I figure out how to wear this thing. So this is Frida. I'm probably going to um, trim her because I think there should be some sort of style to it but y'all let me know what you think and you know let me know if you think that I should trim it because I'm not real sure I, I like the hair because I love big hair but I mean is this the style to wear it like this I mean I like it and, and I'm pulling the crap out of it by the way and of course it's light so you can't it's hard to see it's like a couple of strands coming out it's not a lot of shedding I don't in, I don't think I'm going to be combing this um, other than using my fingers just to make the separate the curls a bit and pulling it out at the bottom. I'm going to show you the back. That's the back. And when you tug on it, it hits me booby length. So it's probably like maybe 16, maybe 18. You guys will correct me, I'm sure. I think it's about 16 or 18 inches when you pull it. And of course, it's hitting me right below the shoulders, which is a nice length. Yeah, I think I can see where it should be cut, like maybe like kind of like that and then in a little bit. Freak it, freak it. Nah. Okay, so I like this hair. I do like the hair. Um, the only th pros about the hair, it's got baby hair, which is really good. It's soft, um, which is another good thing. I love the curls. I love that it's big. It's bouncy. Um, cons? That. I think I'm going to have to put weight control on it to camouflage that. That, if you're wondering, is the weft. And it starts right there. Yep. So, and that just looks trifling. Like, for real, trifling. Let's see. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought. I'm looking, when you look in, in the camera and you're filming, then the lighting might make it look worse than it actually is, or better, depending on your lighting. Um, in my natural mirror, I'm looking, I have a mirror right there. I'm looking in that too. And in that mirror, it doesn't look that bad. It's actually, you actually can't see it. So, pros... Um, the hair is soft, bouncy. I love the curls. Cons. I haven't found any. It doesn't shed like a mofo, which is good. Um, it does shed just a little like I'm just pulling out a strand or two. But again, I'm, I'm tugging on it. You're going to get shedding. Um, I like that it's big. Oh, pro, cons. <laughs> okay, another con. Just, the only thing is that, you know, if you're not sure, like me, like how to cut it, maybe leave it alone. I don't know. But I, I like the hair. I like the wig. I don't think there's a lot that needs to be done to it. And I think, because it has a little flap in the back, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix that down. I think you can even wear it up. You just have to be creative with hiding the back. Do y'all see my little bumpy bumps back there? I don't know. I think I could wear it like up. I think I could wear it up. 
And if I wanted to like tame it down a little bit, I could do that. Hold on. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So it's got the parting right there. I don't want to pull out the comb because then I will start combing it. Yeah, see, you see the weft right there. So if you camouflage that, if you want to part just a little bit, and then pull, pull out some of the baby hairs right there. Tuck that. using a regular bobby pin and I'm going to bobby pin the crap out of this right here. Oh yeah, you will get worn. Excuse my air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, I just bought this I'll tell you about this shirt. I just got this shirt from Dress Barn. I love Dress Barn. Problem. Um, I didn't realize that there was ventilation in it. Because it wasn't, I made sure I got a size that was larger than I am. <laughs> so I didn't, so I won't rip it out because I got, you know, I'm still in transition and I'm losing weight. And so I was making sure that I had a shirt that would fit but what happened was either my arms grew teeth it's not on the side so I have maybe top teeth I don't know baby teeth under my arm or I got a shirt didn't check it because actually they took this off the mannequin for me because it was the only it was the last size left that was that I could fit so Oh yeah, see that? I don't know, y'all tell me if you think that looks cray. I'm doing a whole lot of stuff here. Anyway, so I bought this shirt a couple of days, like not a couple of days, probably about a month ago. Wore it twice yesterday. Um, I was looking at it because I was going to wear it and I realized it had a hole in the arm. <laughs> I just said, you know what? F it, because I love this shirt. I love it. This shirt. It has a tie in the front. It's so cute. Yeah, so, anyhow. Maybe another time when I have better lighting, I'll show you this. But yeah, I like, see, I put it up. All I did was do some some bobby paint pinning. No no wig control or anything yet. I probably will do that later if I decide to keep this down. I'll make it look a little bit neater. But I just, just to show you that, that you could do it this way. I'm going to show you the back in a second. But let me hide my beady beads so y'all don't talk about me. What I'm doing is I'm bobby pinning the back. I have my hair in two French braids, one on either side. Hey, okay, so I had to come back with my iPhone because I ran out of memory on my on my other device. So um, this is Frida. 86 G 8642 um, put up in an updo and um, kind of spontaneous updo. I think I did an okay job um, just from you know just 
doing a snatch back and putting like four bobby pins in there. I pinned down the back so that um, my beady beeps won't be showing. And they still are, but it kind of looks like, you know, that morning hair when you just get up and you're just like, you know, eh, I don't think I feel like doing my hair right now. Let me just snatch it back and pop it up into a, a twisty. That's kind of what it looks like. So with that, I'm going to show you the back. Frida, there you go. So, with that, rate, subscribe, comment. I appreciate all your comments, even the rude ones, and you know who you are. I really do appreciate them, seriously, um, because without those comments, um, I wouldn't know what I'm doing wrong. So, I'm learning from y'all, just like I do when I watch everyone else's videos. Um, this is just something that I thought would be so much fun um, for myself to do and I really enjoy doing them and I want to do better ones for you you know with all my interests because I I do have such varied interests so with that thank you so much for watching and I will be back soon <laughs>